All right, guys, we've just been dispatched to a call. Uh, our team is on site, and a customer reported the initial call as a musty, foul odor. It smells pretty bad. Does it? And there's a lot of water under here, guys. And hearing water in the crawl space. Oh, yeah, it's the overflow. Shut it off! More importantly, this homeowner vacated the home because she's suffering from major allergies, a weak immune system, all of that. So we've got to solve it. So let's get right, right to it. That's what I love about our job is you just never know what you're gonna get yourself into. Yeah, we just left a job where we had to pull a rat out of a $55,000 antique piano. Let's see over here, guys. Oh, there it is, right there. There it is. Where? Right there, right there. We got it. We did, huh? Yep. Yeah, that's the other thing, guys. It's it's really solving people's problems and coming up with uh, you know really good ideas and using the state-of-the-art tools, techniques, and uh, getting the customer satisfaction is the ultimate gratification in this in this business. Wouldn't you say, Dave? Absolutely. All right, guys. The very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check, check with, with the, the crew. crew. Yeah, we gotta figure out what is happening here so we can get a full assessment. Is that Juan? Yep. Hey Juan. Hey, hey. Juan. How's it going? Good. Hey Danny. Uh -huh. Have you guys found the leak yet, Danny? No. Brandon's under there right now. Okay. Well, thank you, Juan. Hey Brandon! Yeah. How are we looking? Pretty bad. I'll come out in a minute. Okay. Are we dealing with sewage water or fresh water? A little bit of bulk. Smells pretty bad. Does it? And there's a lot of water under here, guys. All right, well, I think we're gonna go under and check it out and see what's going on. What's uh, what's the leak? Have you determined yet? You can't find the leak, but there's a lot of water under there. A lot, no wonder this lady had allergies. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, because she's got allergies, we're gonna have to go under there. I wanna do a thorough inspection, make sure that there's no, yeah, any mold or even porea. She's got a lot of plant life around the whole Ooh, perimeter of the point. house. That's so. a really good point, Dave. Um, Danny, you're getting, the you're getting the pump ready? Yeah, you're getting ready to extract the water out. Okay. All right, let me, uh, before you do that, let me let me get my crawl suit on. We got we have some more crawl uh, suits? Awesome, okay. Hey, yeah, let's get suited up and just do a quick, quick uh, analysis of what's going on. Okay. One of the biggest questions we get when it comes to crawl space is, hey, is it okay to have standing water in my crawl space? Absolutely not. Why? It's gonna breed mold. It's gonna cause indoor air quality issues into the home. It's bad on the structure. And for sure, it's gonna cause a major resale issue in the event you wanna sell your home. So make sure that your crawl space is actually bone dry. All right guys, a lot of questions we get quite often in regards to crawl spaces is, should I encapsulate my crawl space? And really what that means is, should I put a big thick plastic cover over the soil? It really depends. Uh, different areas do and would require a vapor barrier, but here in Southern California in dry places, you don't really need it. Um, a lot of people want to spend that money and I don't really encourage that because it is a big investment. Just make sure that all of your water intrusion, plumbing leaks, things like that don't occur and you won't need a vapor barrier. All right guys, as you see, it's pretty bad under there. And again, we cannot afford the liability. We got to get down to the source of the leak. But I also want to do a thorough inspection to make sure that, you know, there's not fungus and mold growing everywhere. And that's what my expertise is. Yeah. So we're going to put on our Tyvek suits, which are waterproof, protects us from any raw sewage or bacteria. Super important if you're going to get into a very contaminated situation. Yep. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Water's over there. Uh, oh, wow. Wow, look at that. How does it look, Dave? 
It's pretty wet down here, man. It's all cast iron piping. <clears throat> the waste system. Ugh. Pretty tight, you know? Yeah, it's a tight, tight crawl space. Oh, yeah. You got a three inch or a four inch? Um, three inch. Okay. I got a, to I got a toilet right here. Okay, okay Danny! Run, the just run the tub! Oh, I think I'm seeing water. Uh, I see a pee trap here leaking, David. Oh! Oh! Oh, yeah. Is that the pee trap? Oh, let's see. Oh, yeah, it's the overflow. Shut it off! Oh, this wood's wet. All right, we're gonna... Hey, good thing it's not all poo poo water. Yeah, that's true. We still don't know if it's coming from this pipe though either. Yeah, you're right, Dave. I think we need to uh, extract some of that. Let's extract water. all. Oh, dude, it's all the way over here too. Look at this. Let's see. One second. Hey, Danny. Yeah. I uh, turn that tub on one more time. Alright. What are you trying to look for? Uh, it looks like the. Uh, did it just snap off? Yeah, right here, the waste and overflow. Yep. Oh. All right, we'll have to shut the water off. Get yeah, get the discharge hose. Okay, uh, Danny, yeah. turn the shower on now. Yeah, good idea. Really important while, while you're under here, guys, is making sure running all the fixtures because sometimes these types of leaks, there could be multiple, multiple leaks. So you want to investigate. There's a little bit of mold right there, Dave. Is that a, is this some mold on the, oh yeah. Oh, How long do you think this leak's been here, you think? I'd say at least a couple weeks. It's all been flowing down there. Mm -hmm. You can actually see the efflorescence oh, uh, on the inside of the concrete here. Yeah, it's, it's been absorbing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Maybe. This may have been going on for a month. Look at that. I hope this is not poo-poo water. No. <laughs> yeah, the hose? Yes, sir. Awesome, Brandon. Plugged in. Okay, here, Dave. Dave. Yeah. Here, bud. Uh, oh, I didn't know I had to do this. <laughs> well, I just want to see how much water we can pull out. Right oh, here. okay. Turn it on? Yeah, turn it on. Go ahead. Oh. While Dave's doing that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run over here. Let's see how bad it is. Is there any other bathrooms close by? There's a bathroom over here. Uh, watch out for the wires. We don't want to snap those wires. Yeah. Uh, there's a pipe going right here. Yeah. Oh, it does. Oh, this is the. Well, this is probably the kitchen, the kitchen line. Kitchen. Yep. Oh, right. Okay, shut it off, guys. Okay, Cast iron has a life expectancy of about 45 shut years. So eventually this client may want to consider replacing this so it doesn't fail again. You know, especially if you're going through an event like this, why take that chance? Because you never know when these pipes are going to okay. cause a leak. This line looks pretty bad. Yeah. You want to make sure that there's... There's no cracks and seepage out of this pipe here. We're gonna have to put some heat drying equipment down here, Jim. Yep. We'll get Brandon to head over to the shop and grab some air movers. Yeah. After all this, uh, yeah, we'll get some heat heat drying in here and that'll bake this soil here, guys. And this'll, it'll take all the excess How long moisture. How it's gonna take to dry, Dave? Five days, three to five days. All right, so right now, just to get the homeowner up and going, we're just gonna replace that waste and overflow and see what they wanna do with the rest of the piping here if nothing else is leaking. Well, the good thing is, is that uh, I don't see any significant mold growth. Um, ooh, we got a toilet, we got a toilet leaking here. Gotta this is why you're getting wood rot right here because of the toilet it's been leaking. Uh, well, what'd you think? wasn't as bad. I mean, I thought the good thing is that I'm really surprised with that vacuum. It just extracted, extracted it within right minutes. Away. The good thing is, you guys, we didn't find any massive amount of mold. But let me tell you, 
when it comes to a crawl space that wet and if you don't dry it out yep. what will happen is vapor that vapor is going to come up especially if you have hardwood floors you'll start getting mold everywhere on the hardwood floors inside yeah. your closets clothes yeah what's really important really the next step once all the water has been extracted is really get aggressive air movement like dave says heat drying equipment we may yeah. have to put a dehumidifier inside but there's yeah. enough there's enough space under there we may not need to do that but it's going to take three to five, five days. days to do that yeah but uh, more importantly is fixing that leak once we do that we'll probably go inside we'll do a fogging to just regenerate the air yep. any mold if if mold is growth in there just to get that air quality back to its original state well that was a good one dave yep. awesome so they decided to remove all of the cast iron so we're doing all that going with brand new abs this was really really bad you can see that the uh, pipe was completely compromised so we're going to replace it with all new abs and secure it properly underneath the crawl space so i think it was a really good decision last thing you want is this to to burst or seep and then you have more sewage underneath the crawl space to clean up Alright guys, well we're going to leave it up to our team here to set up all the dry down equipment, heat drying equipment, do the plumbing repairs, all of the enzyme treatment and the absorbent crystals mixed in with the soil to extract all of that excess moisture. As you can see, that was a dirty one, but we got it all under control. Hey guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave those comments and feedback. And we'll see you on the next one.